Hey everybody, welcome to another Sniffle Valve video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, set up some Elementor created content uh, that will display up um, above the header as a banner and you can have different content there for every day of the week. And I'll show you how you could do the same uh, monthly as well. I won't uh, go through that, but I'll paste the uh, the code for it or I'll have it available on the Snifflebound website. So anyways, uh, let's get going. And um, here we are going to be using Anywhere Elementor Free. This is the one that you can get from the WordPress repository. Uh, if you have uh, Elementor Pro, uh, you could use that as well, but I'm using this one because I don't have Pro installed here. Um, for the theme, I'm using Astra, and I also have Astra Pro, which gives me custom layouts, which is what we're going to use to uh, place our content above the header. Uh, you could do the same with uh, Generate Press. Uh, with Generate Press Premium, uh, which gives you the GP hooks, uh, which would provide the same functionality. But uh, for this one, I'm going to show you how to do it with, uh, with Astra. So we'll start by showing you uh, what I have already set up for the banner. Uh, just something simple, just to show you uh, how to do it more than anything else. So here we have a three column section. We've got a header, uh, ele heading element here, and there and a button style, uh, gave it a color, and that's about it. So this is gonna be our Monday special, okay? And uh, just exit to the dashboard. And this is what we need here is this ID. Uh, the code all, uh, that I'll show you or have on the site already has the short code there. So all you really need is this ID. So this is ID for Monday is uh, seven. So we'll show you how to go and set that up. Go to appearance, Astra, custom layouts, add a new one. We're gonna call this uh, daily banner. I'm going to use the uh, Elementor Canvas. Publish. And uh, first thing we need to do is enable the code editor. And then I'm going to come over here, my other monitor, where I have Notepad++ running with the code I need to paste in there. And Yes, we will. So there we go. And you can see we're using the switch statement and uh, we're getting the weekday from the date. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and on and on. And there is the uh, ID values that I showed you. And as I'm doing this on a Saturday, I will use the Saturday item and enter seven. Now you, of course, when you uh, create your content for the other days of the week, uh, you'd replace the re respective uh, ID on the respective day. The next thing we need to do is uh, tell it what kind of layout, and it's a hooks we're gonna be using, and which hook. Well, we want the header before or this one. So it puts it on top of the header. And where do we want to display it? We want to display it on the entire, entire website. And that's about it. So we'll click update. Now we'll scoot over to the front end, refresh. And if all went well, we should get our banner. And there it is. Okay, so we have Monday done. So now you come along 
And I'll just show you how to do a couple. I won't go through the whole thing. Um, but that's why I've got this handy dandy uh, plugin installed. I'll show you here called uh, Catch IDs. Where did you go? And that basically does one thing and one thing only. And that shows you an ID uh, of your page or post or anything else you've got. And it comes in handy for this sort of thing. Uh, I'll tell you why. Because for uh, anywhere Elementor, the free version, it doesn't display the short code in the listing. You actually have to open it up to get it. So if you uh, didn't catch it uh, when you uh, came out from the Elementor editor, you'd have to go and get it. Uh, because I'm using another one called uh, Duplicate Post. So here's what we'll do. We'll copy this one. New draft, then we're going to call this one Tuesday banner publish. And then edit with Elementor. And all I'm going to do here is uh, change the background color. Oh, I don't know. How about that one? And then the, oops the uh, day and update and exit the dashboard and I see now it's 20 uh, for the ID so we're going to come back over here to uh, custom layouts to our daily banner and uh, what I'll do is I'll put 20 in here and then I'll go in change the uh, date on the computer update let's go have a look and we'll see well we're still still on monday even though it's saturday <laughs> um date and time turn it off and we're going to change it to uh, ooh, april fools so back here, refresh, and we should have the next value. So this is when we set for Sunday, which we call it Tuesday, but uh, just to confuse things. But uh, that's basically how that works. So just to uh, go over it again, you paste the code that you'll find on the Sniffleball site into the custom layout. Click the... Uh, the uh, use code editor button there change these values to match up your days with the ids from anywhere elementor or um, if you use pro uh, you'd have to insert the uh, elementor pro short code it's a little bit different format but it does also use id and then you change your layout to hooks where you want it and uh, we want it before the header and where to uh, which pages to display and we said the entire website so uh, that's about it uh, i don't think there's anything else uh, like i said you could do the same thing with generate press and generate press premium with the gp hooks and um, yeah so there you go and that's how you could put uh, something that'll show up um, every day a little bit different you could put up there whatever you'd like and uh, like i said i'll also show you on the um, sniffle valve site the, the, i'll give you the code uh, that you could use for a monthly banner uh, same idea okay well thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to sniffle valve and also on the youtube channel and uh, Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.